How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about your router and what exactly these ports do. Alrighty, so let's start with the easiest one and probably the most ports you have, Ethernet LAN ports. These are usually in some kind of yellow or blue color, but basically they all do the same exact thing. They take the connection that your service provider gives you and splits it up so you can have multiple devices to actually communicate through the internet. These are all gonna be wired connections and they all serve the same purpose of just taking the internet that your service provider gives you and allowing multiple devices to access it. Below that, you might see a couple buttons. One might say WPS, and that is a Wi-Fi protected setup button, which is just another form to access your internet. Instead of using a password, you can actually just, on your phone or on your laptop, click the WPS setup, and all you have to do is tap the button on your router physically, and it automatically connects to the device that is trying to connect to it without having to enter in any long password. Another button on there is the WLAN button, and this is basically just a Wi-Fi on or off button because your router doesn't actually have to have Wi-Fi. So for whatever reason, you wanna turn your Wi-Fi off, you can click that button, and it will only give internet to the wired connections through the ethernet ports that we talked about earlier. Now, depending on what kind of internet you have, you might have coax or coaxial cables used in your internet. These are copper cables used in standard cable internet that go into your modem. If you have fiber, you will not have this cable at all, but this is basically where your service provider gives your router or modem the internet, and then from there, it can split it off into your devices. And depending on your router, you actually might see a broadband port or another port that is usually in red called ONT. And all of these are doing the same thing as the coaxial cable. Basically, these are taking the internet from your service provider and feeding it into your modem, which in most cases these days, you'll actually have a router modem combo. So you'll only have one device, but it'll have all this put into it together. It makes it much simpler. So you probably don't have two separate boxes, but all of these different ports are probably not gonna be used at the same time because you usually pick one. For example, in my home, we use the ONT port because that is what you use for fiber connections. And we have AT&T fiber. So that is the only one we need to use. If you did not have fiber and you needed to use a standard cable connection, you might end up using the coaxial cable, you might end up using the broadband or phone line cable, depending on how it is wired throughout your house. If you have a landline phone, you can also connect this phone to the phone port on the router to send your voice over the internet instead of over the standard phone line. Occasionally you can have a USB port on here, and this can have a wide variety of uses depending on your router, but typically you can use this as a network printer so you can plug in your printer and access it through the network so that any device that has the internet connected through that router can print on that printer. You can use it for network storage, attaching a thumb drive or an external hard drive if it supports it. And so you can have basically your own little server there with files. And you can also use it for software updates for the router itself if you need to do a firmware or software update. You can download it to a USB drive and plug it into the router itself so it can update. Power button and reset button are self-explanatory as well as the power in. That is just simply where your router will receive the power it needs to operate. And that is it for this video, everyone. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you all in another video. Peace.